when you are building a stained glass spirit community, you are building a community where diversity is not only valued and appreciated, but truly utilized in order to represent your mission and represent your values and achieve your goals. And so when you have worked through your diversity welcome factor and your inclusion worship factor, when you have created a strategy for outrageous outreach, then what happens is you begin to live in a way that is intentionally inclusive. And so I wanna spend just a few minutes giving you a vision of what it looks like and what kinds of things you're doing when you are actually operating in an intentionally inclusive way as a ministry. So your mission, your mission, your reason for being is very clear and you will find it is in direct connection with the activities that you are doing to be inclusive. It means that in your mission, you recognize this need and you find yourself actually having a strategy a strategy to achieve your mission or to, to demonstrate your mission and inclusion is woven into everything that you're doing. Method. Your method, i.e. your strategy as well as your programs and activities and the classes you offer, everything that you do, the methods that you use to attract diversity, to retain diversity, to grow diversity, and to use that diversity to be inclusive, the methods you use are intentional. You can describe to people in other churches, you can explain to the congregants in your spiritual community you can respond to questions from guests and visitors about why it works because you have intentionally chosen the methodology that you are using to greet people, to include people, to recruit people, to prepare your volunteers. You have some intentional methods that you use that create your culture. And third, there is mindfulness. And so I love this part of being intentionally inclusive that reminds us we are spiritual communities and we can use mindfulness and specific spiritual practices to not only encourage ourselves or remind ourselves but to create the consciousness that is required to truly be inclusive. So when you think about being intentionally inclusive, you are going to look at three things. You are going to look at your mission, what's, what it says, and how you live it. You are going to look at the methods, what methodology are you using? What strategies are you using? What actions are you taking intentionally? And three, you are going to apply mindfulness so that even if it doesn't seem to be working, you can mindfully recenter and affirm that which you want to achieve as it relates to inclusion. So, being intentionally inclusive is one of the segments of the work that, um, it, that must be done by every spiritual community that wants to be an example of oneness without requiring sameness. If I can answer any questions that you have, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, but you can find lots of information at stainedglassspirit.net or on the Facebook page, Stained 
glass spirit. My name is Tracy Brown.